Join the planet. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ricky for our first ever performance interview. Yay! On the last video, we're going to talk about the Under Armour torch, blue colorway, and here you go. Traction of the Michael G torch is diamond pattern. Its rubber compound is sticky and good on nearly all core conditions. But then since the rubber is really sticky, you have like a lot of dust compounds stuck to it. Therefore a lot of wiping is required. You can see all the dust under this shoe. I used this shoe both indoors and outdoors and they both work really well. I don't require them outdoors though because the, the traction is not really thick. Therefore it's gonna not it won't last for really long. Like <coughs> Hope you can see that it's really soft. Indoors though there's no problem, so you're good to go. The cushion in the micro G torch is um, micro G it's which is in its name. Micro G is the foam that Under Armour uses in its basketball shoes. So if you see these dotted areas, it's where the Micro G is found. So it's full length Micro G. It runs from the heel to the ball of your foot until the, till the toe. Micro G is actually really soft and really nice on the foot. But like after a long period of time, um, they become really soft. So. The cushion is minimal, but I only experienced that in the heel area, in the forefoot it was fine. It gives you a lot of court feel, so guards who are like low to the ground will really enjoy the shoe. The upper is made out of um, synthetics, so you can see here. It's really soft and nice on the foot. It hugs your foot. As soon as you tie it up, it's like... I feel like the laces on this shoe though is really long. It goes really, really long. So if I take this out, you can see how long it is. That's the shoe and that's how long the laces are. So like, because I tie my shoes really tight and like whenever I tie them, it's like hanging out like here. So when, in tie, when it's up tight like that, you can see all the laces hanging so when they play, it's like flying around. That's one thing I don't like about the shoes. In the synthetic overlays, you can see that there's perforations within the upper. So you can see here, here, and then you also have the tongue which is made out of mesh. This is where you can get airflow through the shoe. Like the craftsmanship is really good. Like I've had, I'm ha I have the shoe for nearly, nearly two, one year. And until now, it's still playable and it's really a nice shoe. You can see the Under Armour logo there. And these areas here are reflective, so you can, while you're playing, it shines towards the people, as well as the back. The back part is reflective. And you can see other reflections, so like this diamond pattern within the shoe. And it runs for throughout the whole upper of the shoe. So the fit of the shoe is shoe to size. I wear size 11 and my foot is like right over here. And I wear The forefoot fit is not that great. So your foot moves from side to side in the front. It's kind of wide here. So maybe that's the reason why. And the midfoot here, it's great because of the shoe, the lacing system, it keeps your foot intact in this area and in the heel you have this heel counter so it keeps you here as well and then you have the lacing system as well so it keeps you keeps you in the shoe while you're playing as you can see there when you tie it up it's just gonna hug your foot watch and then you have the heel counter so it's so the only drawback within the shoe is the forefoot the forefoot coverage the support on the shoe as you can see it's a it's a high top shoe, so your ankle is going to be secure, but it's not that uh, strong, so it's kind of flimsy. 
can see. It's not that strong. Oh. The synthetic they use is not that strong, it, but it um, gives you a placebo effect because it's a high top shoe. You have the heel counter here, and then you have the midfoot shank as well. So it gives you rigidity in the shoe. Heel counter for ankle support. And it doesn't remove you from the footbed. And you have the lacing system. And then you have the upper that keeps you in place. Then you have a small outrigger here. It's not very uh, uh, visible. But you can see that you can see here that the outrigger of the shoe is kind of embossed towards the heel of the shoe. See that? So it limits you from rolling your ankle like this. So the support on the shoe is great. And unlike my first shoe, whereas it was really good, it was one of my favorite shoes to play in. It was my go-to shoe for quite a while. Tim Gem was mad to hat and Bah! Here's the next shoe we're gonna talk about is the Jordan 2012. Please like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.